Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomuz Bariji. Another mnemonic video, another trick series video. These trick videos will be very handy before the revision, during the time of revision, just before the exam. So now today we are going to talk about the chromosome, chromosomal mutation. Basically, uh, the number change. So aneuploidy and polyploidy. In very basic terms, if I say aneuploidy and polyploidy is our topic of discussion. So there are different names and nomenclature that is being used in terms of the numerical aberrations in the chromosome. And this numerical aberration can lead to aneuploids and polyploids. What are the differences that sometimes in the daughter cell, it receives either one or one or two extra chromosomes or may lose one or two extra chromosome. That is aneuploidy. And if the daughter cell receives the whole set of the chromosome, either one set or two set extra or one set or two set less, less that is known as polyploidy. So we are going to talk about the aneuploidy and polyploidy idea with the help of a very single, one single sentence that we need to remember. And if you remember this one single sentence, you get the information regarding aneuploidy and polyploidy all together. You don't need to worry about much. You'll get everything together from here. Okay. And that uh, sentence is that Anoop. Anoop goes to Anoop goes to gym on Monday to Tuesday. Monday to Tuesday to do 48 push up Tuesday night let me write here uh, where is it Anup goes to Anup goes to gym on Monday to Tuesday night so let me write Tuesday night. That's all you need to remember. Anup goes to gym on Monday to Tuesday night. If you remember that, uh, and the next part of it to do 48 weight lifts. That's it. That's all you need to remember. Anup goes to gym on Monday to Tuesday night to do 48 weight lifts. So you are lifting 48 kg of weight. 48 kilogram of weight you are lifting. It's not a matter of joke. It's a heavy drill. And a person who is a gym enthusiast can only do that with an experienced guy. So Anup goes to a gym on Monday to Tuesday night to do 48 kilo weight lifts. That's all. If you remember that, you know, and visualize it, picturize it. Until unless you pictureize it, you cannot get to the exact essence of it. Anu goes to gym on Monday to Tuesday night to do 48 kg weight lifts. Okay. Once it is clear in your head, then I'm going to tell you how exactly you need to decipher this sentence to get all the information that we want. Starting with the Anu, A N for aneuploidy. Aneuploidy. Anu means aneuploidy. Then this P is for the polyploidy. Okay. So AN for aneuploidy, last P is for polyploidy. So we are discussing about the aneuploidy and polyploidy with the help of this sentence. And that becomes very clear in the very first word, Anu. The next one goes to gym on Monday to Tuesday. So we have this Monday to Tuesday. M for monosomy. T for Trisomy, this T for tetrasomy, okay, and night N for nullisomy. So we have monosomy, trisomy, tetrasomy, and nullisomy, all four as a part of aneuploidy. Aneuploidy, monosomy, trisomy, tetrasomy, and nullisomy. Next part <coughs> to do. This 48 and this lift L. So we have four different names that are associated to it. 
we are discussing about that you know there is no variety in the polyploidy polyploidy is when the number of chromosome set is increased so instead of one set a cell receives two sets that is polyploidy but we are more concerned to understand aneuploidy right in aneuploidy we know that we have monosomy trisomy tetrasomy and nullisomy and the next is that to do 48 kg weight lifts right why is that because we are going to see one example of each diseases associated with these four types of aneuploidies so we'll write down here monosomy let me write monosomy uh, we have trisomy we have tetrasomy and we have nullisomy right this four monosomy trisomy so monosomy 2n minus 1 trisomy 2n plus 1 tetrasomy 2n plus 2 trisomy is what tri means 3 so 2n 2 plus 1 3 tetrasomy 4 so 2n plus 2 4 nullisomy is 0 so 2n minus 2 will be 2 minus 2 0 so monosomy is mono means 1 2 minus 1 1 so monosomy trisomy tetrasomy and nullisomy like this and the diseases associated with them is also can be depicted from this particular sentence to do 40 kg weight lifts two is for turner syndrome t for turner syndrome do d for down syndrome then we have this 48 that is out there 48 48 chromosome that's one problem and lifts l is at the end is lethal that is nullisomy nullisomy is lethal because people with nullisomy they don't survive that's why you don't see people with actual disease where we see people with turner syndrome and down syndrome as a disease because these are common where nullisomy is very rare it is lethal it will kill the organism it will kill the human being where there is a problem like this addressed okay so we not only get to know about four types of aneuploidies but from this we are also getting uh, the example diseases or syndromes associated monosomy is turner syndrome trisomy is down syndrome tetrasomy is 48 chromosomes instead of uh, you know the the list that we have 46 instead of that we have 48 chromosomes and in nullisomy it is lethal okay so we get to know all this from one single and simple sentence anup goes to gym monday to friday night to do 48 kg weight lifts that's it that's all you need to remember my mnemonics are little bigger and lengthier in size the length of the sentence might be a little bigger but it has a story to it but once you can remember this you can recall so much information at the same time of your preparation so much information can be gathered with this okay Anup goes to gym on Monday to Friday night to do 48 kg weight lifts. From there, you get to know about all the aneuploidies and you also get to know about the diseases associated with them. I believe this is going to help you out. All the very best for the exam. I believe you got a clear idea about all the topics that we discussed. And one more thing that is very important is that uh, these mnemonics are going to give you so much information in a very little time. So five to seven minutes of lecture will clear a lot of information in your brain. You can put all this information in your brain before the exam and you can ace the exam. And if you really like these video lectures, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues. There's a series of this mnemonics lecture, a playlist is made for that and the link of the playlist is given in the description. Click that and watch all the videos of the playlist. And if you wish to be mentored by me for your CSINET examination or want to get our study material, then the details are there here in the video. You can contact us by this given number or directly can download our application or check our website that is www.shomsbiology.com. Thank you. Bye.